Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Timmy Treacle, and my final movie review for today is going to be uh, The Shiver of the Vampire. And this movie was released on April 21st, 1971. It is a horror film that has a 5.7 out of 10 on IMDb and an 80% on Google. The movie was directed and co-written by Gene Rowland and written uh, by Monique Nathan, uh, co-wrote, I should say. And it stars Sandra Julian, Gene Duran, and Nicole Mansell. And this movie is about a newlywed couple um, who are honeymooning. Uh, they stop for the night at an ancient castle, but unbeknownst to them, though, uh, the castle is home to a horde of vampires who have their own plans for the couple. And I, first off, want to say I love vampire movies um, as well as werewolf movies, uh, but this one was really, really good. Uh, I like the characters. Um, the story is really good. Uh, I like the, the score. The cinematography is really good as well, especially when they show the castle at night. It lights up in different colors, which I thought was really cool. And uh, I like the vampires. There's nothing really uh, uh, too glamorous about them. They don't, they don't uh, sparkle in the sunlight or anything like that. But um, they are very, they're very, very cool, laid-back type of vampires. Uh, but their agenda is to uh, introduce uh, the newlywed couple into their, um, I would say, group of vampires and they want to start with the uh, wife first because they figure once they hook the wife then the husband would gladly come along but no uh, we don't get that in this movie but there's a lot of resistance he tries everything he can to save his wife from becoming uh, one of them and I'm announced to him that she actually has family that is there and uh some cousins and we learned that throughout the movie um, there's also two actual females there but they're not vampires they're basically slaves to the vampires making sure uh, that they're in bed before the uh, sun comes up and all these other things and uh, so they're trapped there as well uh, but this is a, got a very good story there is um, there is a lot of nudity in this movie of course um, not that there's anything wrong with that, uh, but if nudity is not your thing, then you definitely don't want to watch this movie. But uh, it is a really solid vampire film. I enjoyed it. I, like I said, I like the story. I like the characters. And uh, I love the way this movie ended. I, I was actually blown away on how this, they ended this movie because I thought it was going to be the typical ending where... Uh, you know how these movies are. Yeah, the guy saves the girl, and they run off and live happily ever after. But, you know, we get something uh, totally different, and I love that about this movie. And uh, uh, damn near, this movie was almost perfect. Uh, I had a few minor little flaws, you know, uh, here and there, but nothing to uh, really deter me from not really enjoying this movie and recommended it. And I will recommend that you check out this movie and as far as the score goes, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 and two thumbs up. So yeah, definitely check this movie out. Uh, you can find this one on Tubi as well if you have that app on your Roku. Uh, if not, you can probably find it on demand um, or maybe on Amazon or wherever it is. Uh, you know, Redbox, wherever it is you get your movies, you can probably find it there. In the comment section below, if you've seen this movie, give me your thoughts and opinions. And uh, is this one of your favorite vampire movies? Uh, or where does it rank among some of your favorite or maybe your least favorite vampire movies? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, if you're new to the channel, subscribe today for more content. If you like this review, hit that like button. And uh, share this review on your social media as you see fit to. Also, don't forget to click that notification bell so you're notified when I upload videos to my channel. 
which I do on a daily basis unless I have company here, which normally is my little brother. He likes to come here and spend some time with me, which he has been for the last uh, few months on the weekends. And he'll be here again this weekend. Uh, so I'll be watching a lot of movies, but I won't do the reviews again until uh, Monday afternoon. Um, I also do uh, new movie reviews on Tuesdays. Right now, I am out of new movies to watch currently. Um, unless maybe I find some stragglers that I haven't uh, uh, thought about watching. Um, I usually try to stick to the list I made of the movies that I want to watch. Uh, but if I find something that intrigues me, I'll definitely watch it and review it on Tuesdays. On Thursdays, I do Throwback Thursday movie reviews where I pick a movie from my childhood or one that's just a personal favorite of mine and I talk about it in length and review it for you guys. Um, so look forward to that video as well. And then, of course, on weekends, I watch nothing but horror movies, slashers, supernatural, anything in the horror genre, uh, I watch. Uh, and then I'll do the reviews for those on uh, Monday afternoons, unless my brother's not here, then I'll do them on a daily basis. But I thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel. And if there's ever a top 10 ranking or movie review you want me to do on my channel, let me know in the comment section below and I will definitely do that for you. But thank you for watching and check you later.